Hi guys, it's Andy Dow from Carson and Kennedy. I'm here with Kane Brown. He's getting ready to put on a show with Jason Aldean. He's opening. How are you? How are you feeling? I'm good. How are you? A little tired? No. Feeling good? I'm feeling good. Ready to rock? So you're single with Marshmallow right now. One thing right um, is just an absolute smash. I listened to it like 45 times driving down. And it's just, it's one of those things that I feel like just catapulted out of nowhere. How do you team up with someone like Marshmallow? Do you guys like text each other and you're like, hey, I have an idea for a song or... Yeah, well, he uh, after the AMAs, um, I, I guess I kind of got my name out there a little more to all the pop uh, artists, and uh, that's when Khalid and Marshmello hit me up to do a song with them, and uh, I already had the song for my album, but it didn't make it, so I decided to send it to Mello, and then he kind of did his own thing with the beat. Does he wear the helmet in the booth? No, no, we didn't. So we you've didn't seen actually. him without it. Yeah. Is it weird? No, just, <laughs> just normal like a guy. normal guy. Yeah. It's just so interesting to me how artists like match up like that. Like, is it yeah. is it something that happens to you more frequently now? You th you think? Uh, it definitely did uh, for a little bit, and I'll, yeah, there'll be uh, different artists that hits my manager up every now and then. It's so. just so cool to me. It's yeah, just, I love it. Um, so I was reading kind of about about your background and you auditioning for American Idol and for X Factor, and you left X Factor because they tried to make you be in a boy band. But what? do you think that path would have been like if you would have done if you would have stuck with that versus you know putting your awesome covers on youtube and all of these things uh i don't know maybe there wouldn't have been anything there for me like is it is it weird to think you know like you saying with lauren elena in your high school chorus and you see you know her process through american idol and stuff like that like what how do you think your life would have been if you did that direction um I don't know, you know, looking at uh, Lauren, I mean, Lauren's killing it right now. There's mm -hmm. only a select few people, I feel like, that comes off that show, though, and does well. Uh, so, I don't know. You I, feel I, don't like know. You're I don't know if I would have been, I probably definitely wouldn't be where I'm at now. I feel I like it's went. more authentic to you, yeah. the way you did it. Yeah. So, you and your wife are expecting a baby. Congratulations. Thank baby you. Baby girl. Um, I have two questions. So, what are you most excited for about being a dad? Uh, I kind of grew up without a father figure. Uh, well, I did grow up without a father figure, so... Uh, for me, I just kind of want to make sure that I'm always there for her and give her the best life that she can have. And I'm kind of excited to give her what I didn't have. And what do you think it'll be like raising a baby girl? I mean, I just feel like women now are just taking over. Like, it's finally yeah. our time to shine. Like, what are you excited for in that aspect? Uh, I don't know. I think she's just going to be smarter than me when she's like 12 years old. <laughs> so uh, girls mature faster. So I'm just hoping that doesn't happen. And what has this tour been like overall? Just, you know, going with Jason, all of this stuff. Yeah, it's been fun. Jason's my guy. That was my second year out with him. So uh, it's cool. This is my last time headlining. I mean, not headlining, uh, direct support. And I'm going into headlining. So it's cool to spend my awesome. last days with him. Yeah, yeah, and you should be headlining anyways. Oh, thank you. And the fact that you're 25 years old, I just think is unbelievable. I'm 24. I'll be 25 in November. Sick. And just to achieve this level of success, being so young, what is that like for you? Does it ever kind of hit you and you're like, whoa, how is this all happening? Uh, yeah, for me, uh, I'm glad that it happened when it did and not when I was like 15 or 16. Right. I actually got to live like growing up to be an adult. Um, so for me, it's, it's very humbling and keeps me in my place. Um, so I'm, I'm just excited just to kind of be on my feet and be able to help my family out. Right. You got to live, quote unquote, a normal life yeah. rather than these kids that get famous at 13 yeah. and all of that stuff. Well, thank you so much. You're going to crush it tonight. Thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm very excited for you. And yeah, I appreciate you talking to me. Yeah. I can't wait to see you headlining. Heck yeah. I can't either.